Hey everybody, how are you all? I know it's been a long time since I've been on and I apologise for that. Life has just been crazy, as always. Uh, been on holidays, uh, worked at the Royal Show. I did two days. I had a fall on Friday. I found, last Friday, I found the tiniest little crack to trip on. And when you have a fall at a public event that you're working for, you know where this is going to go. The paperwork was actually more trouble than the actual injury. I've got a little graze on my knee. It's still very sore. And it's on that pointy part of the knee that's really painful. And so it, um, you know, it rubs against clothes and everything. So it bleeds a little bit. But anyway. And I happened to fall in front of the bosses. So I had to fill up. I had to go to first aid because I needed a band-aid. Even though I had my own band-aid, it had to be treated because it was a work injury. So I had first aid. Then I had to have somebody from the Royal Show organisers come and talk to me and do a report and that was an occupational health and safety report. Then I had to fill out the company's paperwork um, to say about the fall. And then I also happened to choose the day the work safe inspectors were on site. So work safe um, is government and they go through and they check to make sure that every item at the show is compliant whether it's storeholders, um, public things, all the rides that, you know, they, they do. So everything's going to get signed off at, at first. Sometimes they'll have concerns and yet they've got to be addressed. And then throughout the rest of the show, they will just randomly come and check. So everything gets checked essentially every day of the show. For most, at least um, the show, everything at the show gets checked in over the the time of the show at least three to four times and it's so by spot checks so right, so i chose for so that day i couldn't walk my no, uh, my um knee swelled up i said to take set off work i was back sunday i did 10 to 10 to 5 um each of those days i worked i did over twenty thousand steps so you can imagine i was pretty tired yesterday I was home. I just potted around at home. Um, did some did some cleaning. I'm not doing lots and lots and lots of it like I should. I have just no desire to sit on my computer at the moment, which is a bit of a worry because I've got a lot of planning and prep to do. So I've only got today and tomorrow, and then I'm back at the show. So I'm, I've got to go. I've also got to go. I'm just sitting in the car park at the doctor's surgery at the moment. I've got to go have a follow up appointment with my medication because my medication's been all sorts of chaos um i'm also home alone at the moment my son is house sitting for three weeks and that's a really weird vibe you know with even though i refer to him as the ghost or the phantom or the midnight muncher or the mouse because he's in his room all the time the thing is he's there and so it's been a long time since i've had nobody in the house except myself so I'm having to deal with all of that. But anyway, other than that, I hope you're well. Maybe it is a good thing because uh, that I'm not at work because it's just started to rain, which means it'll be a quiet day. But we do get ponchos, um, free ponchos. I actually carry two or three of these a day uh, in my pockets because um, they're really, they're actually, um, I don't know whether that's one. I'm sure I got that out of the box from work, yeah. They, they supply that for, for, for us and uh, and I don't have my umbrella here. But anyway, this so next Tuesday I'm back at work again. Um, but be, I will be back at work. So the holidays just seems like there's been no holidays. But anyway, I'm, I've got a few jobs that I want to try and get done. I want to try and get my room completely sorted out. I'm still working on that. I'm still working on my kitchen. Everything's getting a big scrub down trying to get on top of on top of stuff I've still got to clean out my car because I can't find anything so I've got lots of stuff I've still got to do but yeah I'm still doing well I'm not really um been checking up what's happening I need to catch up with the uh, Deering and um Pseudo case it's a few court cases I've got to try and check up on and read paperwork for I've got to do all of that um and yeah there's just it's just a little bit happening so I apologize I do I, I have been actually doing I did video for the first few days of the show arriving at the show and doing a summary I'm going to put that into a video like it's a but I can't take in literally behind the scenes while I'm cleaning because I'm not allowed to have my phone at work but 
I did um, the other day the back of house so you have all your food stands and I actually had to do behind that and it was a very fascinating um, very fascinating to see what happens behind the scenes because even though they're doing cooking in their, their little stand quite often there's other things happening you know there was one person's job and um, there was a there's a food store that does strawberry and cream well there are two people at the back with big boxes of strawberries just taking out you know just uh they're getting washed they're getting the stem cut off and they're getting sliced in half or into the pieces you know there's um people that are continually just cooking you know the fryers are continually going um i part of the back of house was also to make sure that the food prep area there's a special area for food prep and there's a special area for dishes I had to make sure that all of those were clean, particularly the food prep area, had to be disinfected and sanitised every hour. So there was stuff that, so that was fascinating and that was different. And um, I also have got a photo of something I've had twice now. I've tried two. One was the strawberry one and I've tried the vanilla, vanilla custard one. I can't even think what they're called. But it's a donut base in a cone shape. Donut base. So like that. Like it's a, with the custard in the middle and then ice cream on top I have to tell you it is pretty yummy and I spoke to the guy and I said could I make a suggestion if you're looking he said I'm looking so you're looking to expand your range yeah we're just experimenting on a few flavors and I said well I'll tell you what coffee if you put a coffee one in and I said my donut which I loved I love donuts I love um ice cream and I said, I love coffee. And the donuts aren't fried donuts. They're actually baked. They're actually put on... It's looks like, it actually looks like a spit roast thing. Um, I'll try and see if I can get some video of it being prepared. I might I might ask them if I can do a, a video of what the preparation's like. I might see if I, they'll, they'll let me do that. Because I think it would be really, really cool. I think it's called Chim Nut or something. Chim Nut or something. Something Nut, I think. I don't know. can't remember. But yeah, I'll see if I can and get some of the behind the scenes. I'd like to be able to do some of that. But yeah, um, anyway, so that's an update for now. And I will I have to go in to see the doctor now. But yeah, it's the 1st of October. Where has the year gone? Another month and I can reapply for monetization, I guess. Anyway, until then, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.